Hi guys! Today I'm gonna do a work office or like you could wear this to an interview if you're going for an interview. Have you noticed that in work or offices the lighting is really unforgiving? Your makeup will look so on point when you walk out the door and then you sit in the office and it's like, oh my gosh, I kind of look dead. It's because the fluorescent lights are actually, they cast a greenish or bluish hue and you just kind of look like grey and the makeup that you have on doesn't look as flattering as it does you know in normal daylight. This makeup look is really natural, really simple and it just kind of highlights keeping your face really nice and fresh and glowy. So if you want to know the little nuggets of wisdom on how to look in the office just keep watching. So because I have oily skin first I'm gonna start off with a primer and to really kind of bring out the hydration so your skin doesn't look really flaky and dry. I'm going to use this um, Shiseido Refining Makeup Primer. Then for foundation, I'm going to go in with the Smashbox HD, defin HD Definition, High Definition um, Foundation. And I would recommend using a high definition foundation because it's designed to look invisible to the eye, especially um, under these fluorescent lights that are kind of unforgiving to any other foundation. And I find like if you have a heavy hand or you put a lot of foundation on, um, it'll just kind of accentuate the cakiness under this type of lighting. My little stem broke. It's like this little dwarf thing. <laughs> If you have really dry skin, I would recommend using the Beauty Blender to kind of press this into the skin just to put more moisture into the face and keep it from looking really flaky and gross. The more you put on, the more cakey and thick it'll look. Even if you don't have a lot, that's just what the office lights do to you. Less is truly more. Now I'm just gonna go under my eye bags and go in with like a slightly lighter concealer. Stay away from anything that's too pink, like pink based highlighters because it'll look really like pasty and washed out. So stick to like warmer tones, like yellow neutral tones. So because I have oily skin, I'm just going to set the T-zones down with a powder. The Rimmel True Match um, Translucent Powder. And then just slightly dust that all over the face. If you're going to use bronzer, just use a tiny little bit just around, you know, like the cheekbones. If you have really pale skin, just to warm up the skin a little. But because I am already so tanned, I don't really need bronzer. So today I'm going to use um, from the Naked Flushed palette this one here, just popping that onto the apples. Something about blush just makes you look really young and like innocent looking. Maybe because babies have really pink flushed cheeks so it kind of brings back the youth, you know? Ew. And then just drag whatever you have left back towards the temples. So yeah, we're just keeping it really minimal and basic because it's just for work. Like, who are you trying to impress? Or maybe there is someone you're trying to impress. But anyway, okay. For brows, I'm gonna keep them really nice and simple but quite like prominent as well. A woman with nice brows and like a collared shirt going to work, it's like suit lady power. I'm going into the Naked Basics palette and I'm gonna take a mixture of this brown and this black. Keeping to the normal shape and arch of your eyebrows. <laughs> After that, you could or you don't really have to, but I'm gonna go in with a brow gel just to set all the little, well, non-existent hairs in place. And so the eyebrows aren't too, like, powdery looking. I'm like trying to grow mine out so they're kind of beastly right now, but whatever. <laughs> so moving on to the eyes, I like to keep them really neutral and I think using really warm browns and staying away from any taupes and kind of um, cool toned eyeshadows will be the best for you because actually under fluorescent lights, if you use the you know cooler browns and taupes, it actually looks really muddy on the face and yeah, it just doesn't work well. 
I'm gonna take this Laura Mercier um, eyeshadow in antique gold and it's that really nice golden brown. Nice and neutral. Just so it doesn't look like you're wearing much, but you know, it still looks good. So I'm actually gonna go in with a brown eyeliner and then just making a medium sized wing just to like elongate the eyes, but nothing too dramatic. Just like that. And then I'm gonna tight line underneath. And then just kind of um, softly blending that out. Take that same dark brown and then just run a little bit under the outer third of the eye and this will just kind of make the eyes look a bit rounder and a bit bigger as well. For mascara I'm going to use the L'Oreal Manga Lash and it's in black and it's their waterproof one. And because this brush has like plastic bristles, it really hurts if you stab yourself in the eye. And usually I'll just take whatever's like left on the I mean on the brush to kind of coat the bottom out a third as well. And then I like to just highlight the inner corners of the eye so it's not as flat. Moving on to lips, I think the colors that work best are the peachy tones and also rose colored. Today I'm gonna line it with the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat in Pillow Talk. And this is like one of my favorite, favorite lip liners because it just goes with everything. And then to go over the lip liner, I'm taking my Tom Ford lipstick in the shade Richard, number 20 Richard. It's the perfect muted, dusty rose color. If you guys have really dry skin and you see that it tends to flake away, or if you have oily skin and you wanna keep the makeup, you know, lasting all day, then I'll go in with a finishing spray. Spray that all over the face. So that is the makeup all finished and for hair, if you want, I think it looks really cute if you kind of like tie it into a loose bun. And then kind of tug at it and make it a bit loose and then just pull out the front bits a little. That is the tutorial guys, I hope you found it helpful and good luck on your interview or your daily grind Monday to Friday. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching and remember to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Bye.